Look at my Star Trek toys! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Look at My Star Trek Toys. Today we have a really fun episode. We have a custom playset. And uh, back with Mike and I, we have uh, we have our good friend who uh, we witnessed live in person. Not live in person, but live in video a couple of episodes ago. But now, Almost JD. Almost live, as, as fuzzy as it was. Yeah, I think <laughs> right. know, we had so many new subscribers and so many, the channel blew up so much because of JD's appearance, we decided we couldn't have that. So this time no, we took away much. about 80% of JD. And JD, <laughs> you are now just a fuzzy ball uh, in the sky. You are you are the moon that uh, we orbit around. What's up, buddy? Oh, not much. Um, I'm glad that we can sit down and discuss your performance reviews. <laughs> uh, we're having a meeting with the bobs today yeah yeah exactly great great yeah but. that's true i mean that is an amazing uh, uh caricature you have there but it definitely does look like you've got some bad news for us jd you know i have to tell you uh for those of you who have not subscribed to jd's channel we'll have the his all of his uh info down below i i made the mistake that i castrate people on our channel for is i I never listened to the end to end, but I happened to find I had it playing on my YouTube and oh. I, I had a, a video play all the way to the end end. And your sort of last 15 seconds of your videos is really chef's kiss. So I had to give you props for that. Uh, I, I, I appreciate it greatly. As someone who in college had a seven minute voicemail that was a whole song <laughs> <laughs> I uh, and people hated me for it, I had, I had to appreciate it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, wow. that was the thing back in the early two thousands. Your voicemail had to be a song. Yep. Everybody had to do that. It really that was I the mean, way you 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 weeded people out, right? Anybody who was willing to listen through that whole thing deserved to leave a message. No uh, leave voicemail a at message all. Message after the tone. Beep. See, yeah. Oh God, no. I I don't even think I have voicemail. I think it's just an Australian lady talking to somebody. Anyway, uh, so uh, let's talk about what we're talking about this week as I get us back on mm -hmm. topic. Mm -hmm. So uh, this week, we have something really, really cool to talk about that JD of JD makes. You know, what did he do? He made it. And let us see a little teaser. Perhaps there's a, is there a commercial for it, you think? What's this? The Borg have surprised the crew of the USS Enterprise? Oh, no. The Borg has taken Captain Ricard. The Borg Queen. On board the Borg Cube, Captain Picard is placed into a strange chamber. Activate Borg Assimilation Chamber. Oh, look. The nanites are entering the chamber. What's happened to Captain Picard? Are we too late? Can you help save Captain Picard from the Borg? Let's turn the Captain into the cutie. Borg Conversion Chamber not available wherever toys are sold. Not a real product and do not look for it anywhere. Made by JD Makes. Wow. Unbelievable. So we are talking about JD's Borg Assimilation Chamber. Uh, throw out that box so we can see what is here, but it's not a real toy. Uh, you cannot real buy quick, this, as said. Yeah, let go me, ahead. Let me give a shout out to, to Royce Owen. He's the kid doing the voice for me, and he's actually going to be in my next couple of videos. We'll get to discuss in just a minute. Uh, what a fantastic job. That is some fantastic voiceover work. Uh, and that's uh, and that's that's V Man's kid, right? Yes, yes. Vance Major you Owens, his, awesome. Uh, his figures on your show a couple of times. I think we had him on the show once, or were we on his show, or he was on our show? We were on his show. Yeah, when he remember. was still doing the when he was still doing his uh, pizza roll diaries. Oh right, right, right. I for, forget whose show was was whose. But uh, anyway, so uh, JD, first off, before we get too far into the chamber, talk about the production of that amazing video, the, the amazing commercial, which tossed me immediately back into like hardcore 1992. The Saturday morning box. cartoons. Yep. Those oh commercials. No, nobody did. Do they still make commercials like that? Or it's just that they're not targeted to me when I watch now? Like on Saturday morning, are kids still getting those? There's still sometimes commercials sort of like that on Saturday mornings, but but not really, not really the big shouty, hey, come get this type like that is. It's a dang shame, and, is what it is. It really is. Well, and you do a hell of a micro machines guy voiceover. Remember that guy? It talked really fast. Oh man, was that what? I, oh yeah. Well, I was going more for that thing of how at the end of all commercials they have the. Uh, the I think it's that guy. I think it's that guy who does that super fast voiceover. 
Yeah, he came kind of was famous for that, and then they kind of made it a thing for the Micro Machines commercials, but then he made a career after that. In fact, Keith, great plug mm-hmm. for an upcoming episode. Uh, I may have finally pulled the trigger on some Micro Machines things, so let's we'll see how that goes. Oh, nice. oh. I've got I've got Micro Machines coming up on my channel as well. It's synchronicity. Oh, oh. it's happening. So, uh, I can feel so, the so. Energy. I know, right? So, so talk like how did you make that video? You sh- you shot and edited all that. It looked, yeah, it looked, really looked fantastic. That was really just all done here in my room. It's it was th- this one was pretty basic. It's the next one that that I'm working on because this is I'm going to start be doing these specials like this about every two months. And the board chamber was from January, um, and I just it was I was already working on the on the toy itself on the playset. And I was just like, you know what would be really fun? I should get, you know, get somebody's kid, do some voice work for me, throw together a commercial, kind of like one of those old school 90s commercials and right. just, you know, get it out there and let somebody, you know, people enjoy it. And that one, that video has gotten like over 500 views on my channel. It's crazy. Wow. Geez. Guys, I have to insert my 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 naivete here. Just as a quick reminder, this what we're looking at right now is does not exist. This is all from scratch. Not exactly. I I guess I forgot to send y'all the pics of the oh, we uh, have it. original. Mike, oh, okay. Mike, Mike just hasn't looked at it yet. Yeah, I'd, ah, like, to, I'd like to. Okay. I'd like to go in unsullied. But believe okay. me, uh, Mike is un is is profoundly unsullied by information. Don't worry. <laughs> it's so, my brand. So, do you remember Swamp Thing? Yes. Do you remember the Swamp Thing cartoon? I do. That and Toxic that, like, Avenger. Yeah, it lasted all of one season. Mm-hmm. Well, to go along with the Swamp Thing, they made this playset that was for the bad guy um, that you would put the human figure in. You do the, the the mutagen stuff and a deformed bug-like you know, humanoid creature would come out. And that's what I used as the base. And I added a whole bunch of stuff to it. Um, I actually, if you look there on the side, you see those panels that look sort of like a Borg ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's because that's actually the side of a Borg ship. I actually made uh, a mold of the, one of the miniatures of the Borg cube and then cast a whole bunch of resin pieces and glued them along the sides uh, of course, God, all the decals is... I made myself in Photoshop. You would never and convince me that this was not a produ- like a manufactured would... toy. Oh, it's it's. I mean, it's phenomenal. So, and you photoshopped the box too, right? Yes, yeah. The for the box I designed myself too. I I tell you what, your like Photoshop skills are really impressive. So here's the chamber open where you can place in the uh, the Borg assembly, I suppose. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You, but a uh, a pre locutus b- Picard, uh, it looks and and so uh, all right. So talk me through the other stuff that you did. I see Borg arm appliances sticking. Is that a vat of goo that they're in? Yes. <laughs> yeah. On and, the original on the original toy, that was where you had like some kind of chamber that would be inserted into it, but that had gone missing when I bought it off, when I bought it off of eBay. So uh, that the lid of that is actually from, you know, those packets that you get of Kool-Aid stuff that you can add to your bottle of water. Right. It's the lid. That's the lid. Yeah. And I took, and I put like glue and sparkle stuff and paint all on the top of it and put a little light down inside that chamber underneath it. So it's actually I, lit. Yeah, yeah, it is actually lit under there. It's it's just one of those little uh, battery candle. Sure, sure. Oh my god, things. that I'm is the word for it. It's a little pot light. Yeah, oh, I mean, goodness gracious, JD, this is amazing. <laughs> like it's that is really really cool. It is because yeah, there's I, more so, stickers. Sure, and but it really ties it together. And, and the the resin board cubes, your work with resin, I just don't understand. I mean, like, I understand it, like, logically, I can think it through. I just can't imagine doing it. And you, uh, Jada does a lot of videos on how to work with resin and how to 
how to use molds and make things larger or smaller. Um, and it's really remarkable what you're able to do. Uh, keep going around. Keep showing more, Mike. There's the bat with the board cables. Well, that's actually a little computer chip board out of, I want to say it was one of our routers, one of our old routers that fried. <laughs> And I gutted it and I just took this little thing with all these wires attached and glued it on there and then attached the wires in different places. I, I mean, oh, and there's and that's, so that's the original. The, I mean, which is which is cool, but you made that so profoundly cooler with the work that you did. And all of that miniature work, that's exactly what they did on the show. Mm -hmm. making models and and kit bashing and like that's you know all your favorite ships and models and and uh you you want to watch star wars you want to watch alien whatever it is yeah. it's all doing exactly what you did jd let's see do I yeah and and yeah that was the thing is i wanted to my whenever i go into any of these it's i want to try and evoke what it would be like if playmates still made something like that yeah. What's well, in this little liquid vat here? Is that looks like actual liquid. It's it's just it's a little bit of uh glitter paint, some like fluorescent green paint and mod podge mixed together and just stippled in there so that it looks it looks liquid, but it's not. <laughs> and lit from below. And lit from below, yeah. Just incredible. That really, really is incredible. Uh wow. And there's Locutus with it. I mean, this. Oh, cool! So that's that's the the original, original toy. Box. I mean, I I can't imagine how many of those are still exist these days. And look, you can it's still cool, find a few of them, but it is not as cool. It's nowhere near as cool. Uh, I'm so impressed. Like it, it, the problem is like. I think everyone watching this wants one. Yeah, of Keith these. Wanty. That's what I. That's the problem. <laughs> like hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> but it's getting the getting the material. All right, so you need to mold the whole thing, and then well, you need you need, uh, perhaps as playmates, and, and we're going to talk about next. We have a petition we're going to talk about after we're done looking at this, uh, continuing about continuing the playmates line. If playmates doesn't want to continue the playmates line, JD, I think you got to take it over, buddy, and do but it in, me, in exactly that style. Between me and a few other people, I think that you know. That's if, if me and, and Chris CRM and, uh, yeah. you know, Daz bought a few, get a handful of people together. We'll, <laughs> we'll put together our, our own company. <laughs> well, and, and, and actually, and you're a unique customizer, um, because you really do focus on maintaining the playmate, the nineties playmates stylistically. <laughs> yeah, uh, I really and I think that's, Right. It's 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 very clear, and that's you know mm -hmm. it it is part of the artistry is maintaining the authenticity and maintaining the that that '90s smell to the, the toys that you create. It's really I really. I don't know about that. Yeah, that's getting really specific, Keith. <laughs> I try to I try to keep the air freshener in my room. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, you open the toy, you know, gotcha, the, the yeah. unbox, and you just smell the '90s in there. It's it's the best. So I believe you have a video, the preview, that, and before we can see it spin around, there it is. So here's here's how you can yeah just loop that for a bit, so you can really see the scale of it. It's actually pretty big. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Once you have it in context with the figure, like that's a that's a substantial playset. And it feels on the scale of I mean, obviously it is because it's playmate scale uh of the of the playsets. It's a much cooler because it's all Borg and scary playset than a lot of the ones that they did, which were really neat, but they're sort of like nice and federation y. This one's a little scary, yes. which I like a lot. Yeah, a lot a lot of gunmetal gray on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i gotta say i mean this is it's a high bar but i think this is in the upper echelon of your work jd is my in my in my humble opinion oh for Thank sure you. i do appreciate that no i mean this this is I, I think it's it's not only cool it's really exciting like it's uh it's really quite the toy in fact congratulations you know we this. have we did a sponsored video i think it was sponsored should we say sponsored yeah for that borg cube that was like a bluetooth speaker yeah yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I would, uh, which I still have over here. It's lovely. Thank you so much. You're but, supposed to give it to me. It never got to. Yeah, me. well, I haven't. I don't think I've seen you <laughs> since then. Regardless, <laughs> I think this is more Borgy. 
I'm stealing it when I come for WrestleMania. Yeah, oh, this is definitely point. this is definitely Borgier. Yeah. Uh I mean it's 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 really fantastic, JD. So as as I understand it, uh this is gonna be a series now you mentioned. Yes, me every other month is the plan for this year. So the next you, one is gonna be actually in a couple of weeks on the twenty second. And we're when we're gonna play a teaser for that after we talk about uh our petition. So uh but so they they're, they're gonna be sort of like play sets and models or what what is the sort of theme that you're gonna be working on? It's it's not because you guys are familiar with my uh what I'm gonna be working on for the large deep space nine diorama. It's basically nothing that's going to be that big that it's going to take me weeks and weeks to work on. This is something smaller that's like a one or two week project, but, you know, bigger than just a little figure type of stuff. Nice. Well, I'm, I'm excited to see what you, uh, what you come up with and we're going to tease next episode. Uh, but, uh, but before we do that and, uh, yeah, just once again, this is fantastic, JD. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I can't wait to see the comments on this. People are going to lose their freaking minds on this. Uh, but speaking of people losing their freaking minds and uh, putting <laughs> great segue <laughs> and putting thoughts into action, uh, I wanted to. We mentioned it before, uh, but uh, our friends of the show, Wesley Hudson and Brandon Giles, have a petition going on at change.org trying to entice playmates to uh get, to continue the line um of the action figures and uh and toys and that kind of stuff i know they're going to continue doing ships um but you know a lot of what we have talked about we did many videos on it go back and check the whole archive there but we've talked a lot about the possibility of playmates being able to continue the figure line in a smaller way Right. Instead of going into retail, sell them online and just keep going with this line, because I think there's a lot uh, there's there's much more of an audience there than I think that they um, th that th that they think that they have mm -hmm. um, if they change how they do the distribution. There's a way to do it. So um, so Wesley and Brandon have asked us to post this here to see if we can get some more people to sign. Uh, I know that they have more signed. signatures than this. This is just a while ago. Uh, we have signed already. If you have not I was signed... I say, I thought that number looked low. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that was back in October. So I, I just did the screenshot. So it's it's old. It, they have many more signatures than that, but it really helps if you sign as well by hitting the QR code right above me here. We'll also put the link in the uh, show notes here. Um. One million. We do that. I do not believe they have one million uh, signatures yet. If they did, if they sold one million toys, I think they'd be keep going. But <laughs> uh, but uh, certainly, JD, do you have any thoughts on what you think Playmates should do? We've never we we talked yeah, a lot a about point. what we think. Well, I I would love to see them do that. M my biggest thing is is that we know that they have made that the dies have been cast. Um, they've made the dies for at least another line of figures. Yeah. It why not why not do that as a online exclusive? Yeah. I think that at the I think that should be the very least. I, it's it's harder to convince a company to spend the investment money of making all new stuff. But if they've already got the stuff for the next line, why not get some of it out there? That's that's a that's a really really good point, uh, you know. And I know that even back in the '90s, there were a bunch of prototypes that they made that they never produced. Like go back in the archives and release those yeah. too. I mean, online only. All right, great. They're gonna, you know, obviously you're not gonna be able to produce a quarter of a million of them, um, so it's gonna be more expensive to produce. But again. Online only, you're not having to give away a lot to retailers. We'll pay a premium to get them. Yeah, it's really interesting because I, it, anecdotally, I watch a lot of uh, Adam Savage's channel, Tested, and you know he has a lot of colleagues back at ILM, and often they talk about you know how a lot of old molds or old tooling or old just random stuff that they used back in the Star Wars days or on a lot of other projects that we all know and love end up on the shelf or never used and just are literally in a storeroom. And those yep. storerooms get rented out and they just throw a lot of stuff away and they get passed back and forth. You'd think there's so much money to be made where you could take all these old things and auction them or 
sell them or but but they they often just kind of collect dust so i'm sure like yeah. you said keith there's a bunch of molds and unreleased toys and that that could be yeah. you could find the way and, to eat and even if oh go ahead, go I, know ahead that, I know that i know that some of them actually did get auctioned off a few years ago because i've yeah. talked to the guy who actually owns the Riker molds <laughs> mm, interesting well, and I and I know that um, yeah the uh, the Borg Queen is coming based off of the original mold. Oh right, <laughs> from we had another that on the show. Company. Yeah, that's right. Um, um, so, uh, like, who knows? Who knows? And like, hey, look, playmates. Even if you take take those figures, don't even worry about articulation. Scan them, three D print them as just uh, statues. Because that that that's great on the shelf. Like it, again, you're going to collectors. We're not going to be playing with them necessarily. Um, if that's a, if that's a way to do it, I don't know. Come up with something. Wouldn't it be anyway, cool if they op- just open sourced the three D scanned and let you know customizers and people with three D printers kind of just go wild with them? That'd be right. Or resin and molds like what yeah. JD does. Like, yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of different things you could do. Uh, anyway, help us out. They, they haven't shown a lot of interest in doing any of that, but uh, but just for the heck of it, go sign it um, and uh, and see what happens. So I think we should finish with a. Uh, with with a million floating in the uh, floating in the universe. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> with a teaser of JD's next project. What do you say? Oh my god, this VHS probe has effect. been launched. Our probe is malfunctioning. The probe is broken up. Kids nailing it. Oh my it. god, he's so cute. We must collect the fragments. What will we do? <laughs> we'll use the Argo. Okay, let's put some pedal to the middle. Okay. Whoa! So are we getting an Argo? Is that what's happening? There you go. Ooh. Oh. You want to see the full thing? You'll have to uh, come see my channel on the 22nd. That's right. So uh, the March, uh, what is what is March? March 22nd, yes? About yes. two weeks, I'd say, ish. Yeah, well, we're dropping this Sunday, so yeah. Uh, all right, well, that's really exciting. Everybody, go check it out. Check out and subscribe to JD's channel. Uh, JD, thank you so much for hopping on with us once again and creating this uh, really fantastic playset here. Uh, we're gonna be uh, gonna be excited to see what you come up with on your uh, on your regular channel, but also these monthly special things. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to sign that petition. We will see you back here next week. Boy, so uh, we've got a whole bunch of really fun stuff coming up. I have something uh, to unbox next episode that Mike doesn't even know about. Nope. I'm not even going to say what it is, but I can guarantee you this. It is a one of a kind. Mm. We'll be unboxing next week. I'm very excited and about it. And as an aside... Anybody who may have access to, or if anybody at XO6 is listening, I just saw the pre-orders for their, or the they have in stock right now, the new their Kira figure. Ooh, boy, is it awesome. Have you seen it, Keith? I have not. Oh, yeah. you got to go check it out. It is super rad, and boy, does Mike want <laughs> But Mike can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be making any sort of jokes about whether Mike wants to give the XO6 to the Kira figure. Come but, uh... on. <laughs> Come on, it's terrible. I'm change the rating of the video now. I'm a bad person. <laughs> All right, let's get him I think up. JD quit. JD, she's like, I'm out of here. That, as I heard earlier today, that sounds like something that the devil would say. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, I wouldn't be the first time I've been called that. No. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, JD, for coming in. We will see you back here next week with another episode of... Look at my Star Trek toy!